Hello, everyone. Uh, Wednesday, August 14th, new comic book day, and uh, not a real big week for me, but it's nice to have a nice little week, not a lot of money out of pocket, so uh, this was definitely one of those weeks. Uh, picked up a variant cover. I, I usually don't haven't been picking up a lot of variant covers lately. It's got to be something that kind of catches my eye. Uh, this one did. Part of the Trinity War, Justice League of America, number seven. Just kind of like the, the feel of the book. So, that one. Uh, New 52 from Zero Year Storyline, Batman 23. Walking Dead, 113. Star Wars, number eight. East of West, number five. Kind of having a hard time getting into this one, but uh, I'm going to keep trying it because, you know, there's we have a good book, bad book, so I'm going to keep giving it a little bit longer. Uh, Saga, thir uh, 13. Uh, Batgirl, 23. Suicide Squad, 23. Another book I'm not really enjoying too much. I uh, might be winding down with this one. I might take it up to 25 and then just uh, shut it down. Killjoy is number three, and I've been mentioning the last couple of ones uh, about Xenoscope coming out with some really nice uh, Wizard of Oz covers, uh, and this is just another one of Dorothy uh, Oz from Xenoscope, kind of liked it. Uh, again, for me, if you watch my videos, really, really, really small week. Like I said, we had Oz, Killjoy, Suicide Squad, Batgirl, Saga. East of West, Star Wars, Walking Dead 13. Something big's building up. It's been building up, and I just have a feeling that in the next issue or two, it's going to really uh, explode. A uh, couple shout-outs I want to give uh, to some viewers that have been uh, very loyal, uh, watch all the videos, make comments, engage. Uh, and this isn't for everybody, this is just some of the ones that, you know, I, I recognize the names all the time and, and appreciate the support. So we have uh, John DeRosa, uh, La Rasa, I hope I, I hope I mentioned that or said that correctly, La Rasa, uh, from England all the way from, uh, you know, across the big lake. So, Burko 1, uh, Bruce uh, Salmiano, I did that one video for Bruce. Bruce has been a very loyal guy, so I appreciate that, Bruce. And Rick's Doom. Um, again, this isn't by any means uh, cutting anybody else short. I appreciate all the viewers. I appreciate everybody who makes comments, everybody who supports the videos. Uh, and like I said, just ones I, I kind of notice every single day, every single day, every single day. I just want to kind of give a little shout out and thank you all personally for uh, staying uh, loyal and consistent. Um, also, if you are interested, I have started a what do you call that? Like a, I can't think of it now. I just had it. Let me get my phone. Hold on. You ever have those days where things just kind of disappear on you all of a sudden? Uh, that just happened to me. An Instagram account. I started an Instagram account. Uh, I've been taking pictures of things. Uh, you know, once in a while I'm going to start taking more pictures as I go. Uh, it's going to kind of incorporate some of the other things that I enjoy in life. Uh, besides comic books, and the Instagram following name is the same as this, Living Dead Comics, without the hyphens, just Living Dead Comics. Uh, so if you have an Instagram or you're interested in following me on Instagram, uh, please do so. I'm going to start putting things up on Instagram uh, moving forward. Uh, one real quick thing, uh, you know, video wouldn't be a video without me ranting off a little bit. Um, we had... A lot of good positive feedback back and forth with some viewers as it relates to the CGC PGX. And a lot of the things that they come up saying, well, there's really no one who, you know, badmouths CGC except you. You're the only person who does things in a public forum uh, that badmouths CGC. And I don't badmouth CGC. I'm not trying to badmouth CGC. What I'm doing is I'm trying to give people a bigger view of the different options that are out there as it relates to grading books. And... A lot of the comments, a lot of the views that I get, people are starting to see that, you know, the delay time, the price factor, there, there is a, a very big negative with CGC. So I've done enough videos on that and enough of that. But if anybody's interested, 
someone sent me a link to a story that was done on comicbookdaily.com. Comicbookdaily.com. Uh, based off of the article, it's called CGC Standards. It was by a gentleman and a collector named Jason Halstead. Uh, published February 6th of 2012, so just barely a year old. And basically what he said in his article was, he's a huge CGC guy. But CGC has changed with the market. As the market for, book, for older books goes down, CGC has been softer on their grades and given the higher grades because they're making a better percentage off of those grades. So... You don't have to listen to me. This is another guy who sends books into CGC and is a big CGC supporter, but is also now seeing that maybe it's not as, you know, third party, we have nothing to gain, you know, type of situation. Like a lot of people always tell me, oh, CGC is a third party, have nothing to gain. Everybody has something to gain. Business is business. They're making money. And again, anybody doesn't believe that, you really need to, to look into this. This guy did, wrote an article on it, was published online, so if you're interested in that, it's comicbookdaily.com. The article is called CGC Standards, or you can even probably just Google CGC Standards by Jason Halstead, and it's H-A-L-S-T-E-A-D, from February 6, 2012. So it's a good article, read the article, take a look at someone else's opinion other than my opinion, and, you know, like I said, I look at other people's, when they send it, now I'm asking people to go out there and read that article and listen to what someone else who is a pro-CGC guy has to say about the CGC grading standards. So I thought that was a really good article. So again, appreciate all of the positive feedback, positive comments. Again, Instagram, I don't need to look at my phone because I remember it. Instagram account, Living Dead Comics, take a look. Uh, you know, I'm going to start showing like some of my movie collections on that, uh, you know, favorite movie pictures, just basic little things, maybe some older books or, or whatnot. So, um, again, small week for comics, a little bit of a rant, a new Instagram account information, and again, to the ones I mentioned, thank you for being supporters. The ones I didn't mention, thank you for supporting as well. As always, I hope you liked the video, but if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. And as a request from one of my viewers, I hope you have a sparkly day. Talk to you later.